well my record with angels in the middle of nowhere remains unblemished uh, I get down here in the same spot I was in two days ago down here in the middle of fucking nowhere with uh, no cell phone no internet no way to call anybody and e even if I had anyone to call the person I had to call is on his way to Cleveland Ohio I get down here and Aaron you probably can relate to this this goddamn trailer was not going on this truck wasn't gonna happen was not gonna happen this goddamn trailer was not going uh, onto this truck and uh, out of nowhere this dude appeared the 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 groundskeeper at the Airbnb shows up uh, uh, unbelievably there's nobody in the passenger seat you stupid fucking beeper oh uh, unbelievable that, that this angel shows up out of nowhere this old man groundskeeper at the Airbnb why don't I have a groundskeeper at my Airbnb shows up out of nowhere I said brother uh, I, I said you don't know how happy I am to see you and uh, he goes what's going on and I said this trailer is not going on this hitch I was doing everything I could and uh, he looks at it you know do this and do this and within five seconds this old man had this trailer uh, on, on this hitch it, 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 you know I just get so sick of it. I, I, I've spent my whole life being embarrassed that I was not born with the guy gene. That 19-year-old Amish kid would have had this trailer on in five seconds. And this old man uh, looks at this for five seconds. I'm out there for 20 minutes. Uh, I'm, I'm banging on it. I'm jumping up and down on it. I'm, I'm moving my truck up and backing up, tr trying to get the goddamn hitch to go over the ball of the fucking trailer. And in any other man, uh, four billion men on this planet uh, would walk up, and, and, and probably two billion women uh, would, would walk up say what's going on here and I say I don't have any fucking idea what's going on here and uh, that's what uh, and they would take one look at it five seconds assess what the fucking problem was get the goddamn trailer on that hitch and and, and be down the road so anyway, I have been saved by an angel again, but I don't know, that, that cost me 20 fucking minutes uh, waiting for an angel. I could have been waiting a hell of a lot longer than 20 minutes uh, for some angel uh, to come uh, fucking rescue me again. But anyway, it is a spectacularly gorgeous, we are talking about an over the top beautiful day here it is a wednesday morning it is october 29th 2024 i think it was what 95 years ago today that we had a little hiccup in this country probably coming in for another one but uh i am off to hot atlanta georgia it is 10.30 in the morning. I'm already 90 minutes late. I was already an hour late, and then I ran into that bullshit with that fucking trailer. I'm 90 minutes running late, so that means I will be getting to Atlanta, Georgia uh, after dark, driving around with my uh, Doomer chick who does, who does not know how to give directions from her own bed to her bathroom. But I love the woman dearly. Uh, <laughs> oh boy. Man, it is still a gorgeous fall day. And of course, my robot uh, doesn't work. I have no signal. So uh, 
I'm, to, I'm, I'm trying to get a few miles down the road, get back to civilization so I can get my robot back. This is exactly what the people visiting Bugs in a Jar have to do uh, <laughs> to, to get their robot back. They, they always go into a panic uh, that their little robot is not available to lead them to their next destination. So I'm pretty sure if I can just get down the road a few miles and out of this holler out of this holler that uh I will get my robot back so uh, and I will be on the road again they're saying seven hours to uh to Hotlanta GA um, literally going back to my old family farm that's where I'm headed is to the old family farm which would be worth about 20 billion dollars today okay let me see if I have a robot looking for a robot Bye guys.